Hey folks, welcome back. In this video I gonna show you how to paint your 3D printer. You can not only do this by using spray paint, but by letting the printer do most of the work. Printing covers that you can easily design yourself and then attach them to the printer. You can use this method to color any 3D printer regardless of whether it's a Creality, Bamboo or as in my case an Elegoo Neptune 4 Pro. And before I show you how it's done, a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, PCBWay.com. And they not only can make PCBs for you, but offer on their website a wide variety of manufacturing capabilities such as CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, 3D printing and injection molding. You can simply upload your 3D file like this, choose from a variety of different materials, insert the quantity you want and you get an instant quote. You can even have printed your parts in different metals, like this one here that I have ordered from PCBWay for a recent project. Thank you for sponsoring this video and now let's change the color of that printer. I start with painting the parts that are too complex to use the cover up method which I will show you in a moment. So the first thing to do is to remove these parts from the printer. This is quite easy for the most parts, but with this front cover Elegoo has gone a little overboard and reinforced it with two additional screws on the inside, which as you can see I have not removed. Next I clean the parts with isopropyl alcohol. I give them a good rub and I put them in a cardboard box for spray painting. Normally I would use one coat of primer and two coats of paint. But since the primer I use already has the color I want, I give it two or three coats of that. It's best to do this outside or in a well ventilated room. As you can see it gets quite foggy. After a short time drying I can turn the parts over and spray them from the other sides. And finally I inspect the parts and spray the areas that I haven't reached yet. With some parts like this fan module that has a socket, a switch and on the back these four fans, you have to be a bit more careful, especially make sure that no paint runs into the moving parts and sticks them together. So I cover the connector and the switch with some masking tape. Here I use this thing called a lancet, which is probably a lab or dental device that is good for all kind of small precision work and that I use surprisingly often when I work with the 3D printer. And now I can reinstall all the parts. This was the obvious method how you can change the color of your printer. For that you have to buy spray paint, disassemble the parts you want to paint and then reassemble everything afterwards. Which is much more complicated and time consuming than the second method that I will show you now. Covering all the large even areas of the printer with tin printed sheets. I made them in Tinkercad. This piece here is the right side of the base cover. And as you can see I built it from these three pieces which I then merged into one and I gave it a thickness of 0.48 mm. You can change this to the thickness of your choice so that you end up with at least two layer lines. In the slicer I selected 0.2 layer height for two layers and could change it up to 1.6 mm height for three layers. How many layers you need depends on the material you use. I use my favorite PLA from Polyterra in the color Marble White. With only two or three layers, such covers can be printed quite fast. And again I use the lancet to lift the sheet from the print plate and pulling it off carefully to avoid deforming it. Which can easily happen with such a tin print. To cover most of the visible areas I printed these two sheets for the base and all of these for the gantry. Those for the base can simply be laid on. And on the ones that go on the gantry I applied a drop of quick glue to each corner. This way the covers hold up pretty well but if you want to take them off at some point, it shouldn't be a problem either. For places like this, where the x-axis is in the way, you can glue one side first and then attach the upper side later. And on this particular cover, I left out a strip on the edge because I wasn't sure whether the screw would rub against it. I could still paint this section behind the cover, but at this point it's good enough, at least for me. If the area was too large to cover in one piece, I divided them into pieces which can also make it easier to attach in some places, like here on the extruder axis. With this method you can cover most of the larger areas of your printer precisely and fast 
with little effort and at only the cost of the little bit of filament you use. And this way you can customize your printer to fit your personal style, which in my case is grey. For the print settings I ended up using a slow printed first layer with 0.15mm height and a second layer with 0.12mm. A well leveled print bed is definitely an advantage. And if you want to use the upper side of the print as your front, the flow should also be well adjusted. Not like in this example where I have definitely some over extrusion. But with a little sanding the thing looks like this and I can live with that. Make sure the surface where you stick it is free of grease, glue it, apply, press it on and you're done. Please like and subscribe if you got anything useful out of this video. I wish you a good time printing, keep your eyes peeled and we see us in the next one. Oh that is also a good video. And this one is even better. <laughs>